What's up, guys? It's Marty here from Nintendo Dads, and today we are checking out a game that I am very excited about that is launching uh, the first week of March on Nintendo Switch. It is called Berserk Boy, and if you're a fan of Mega Man, if you're a fan of Mega Man X, then you're going to want to mark your calendars. You're going to want to wait and check this game out because it is pretty awesome. Um, the story... Uh, to me, I don't know. It doesn't make much sense. You're a guy with a bird, and the bird gives you mystical powers that you get from berserk orbs. And uh, yeah, we'll just start here in file B, and I'll I'll show you how this game works. And uh, like it's it's it looks great, it controls great, the sound is awesome. Uh, this, like I said, this is definitely if you're a fan of Mega Man, Mega Man X. Or games like that, like uh, Ball Boy or Bat Boy that came out not long ago. Um, and yeah, Circuit, uh, Circuit, got Gravity Circuit. Yeah, I like those games. You're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna check this out. I'm gonna skip the cutscene just so we can get it straight into play. But basically, what happens is uh, they get attacked, and the, the girl he was with, he can't find her, and so now. He's going to be journeying uh, to to find them. And also, there's he's what's called a teleporter. So you're going to be rescuing people and actually teleporting them back to base to, to help. So you got the, you know, you got a wall climb here that you can do. And to me, it's, I mean, it looks a, a, like... Real Mega Man 7, uh, you know, uh, kind of chunky sprites and those big ladders. It just kind of remind me of Mega Man 7 for some reason. You got rails you can grind on. Like I said here, they're, they're going to get attacked. Um... And that's going to put him in a position where now he meets the bird because there's this, uh, this thing that's attacking them. They've got to run from it. And this is where you start learning your, your attack moves. This game is meant to be pretty fast-paced. And if you remember back in the day when uh, the Kickstarter campaign ran for Mighty Number no. 9, you know, there was this idea that there was going to be like, and I guess there was in Mighty Number no. 9, of like attack bonuses that would pile up and you would get a score based off of that. That's what goes on in this game as well so the bird comes his name's fiore and uh, now you're going to be able to use fiore to attack and do some different things <laughs> he'll be able to carry you over gaps by jumping and pressing zl can even do it in different directions and that can provide an attack eventually. <laughs> the bird basically does all the attacking for you. Alright, so we're going to teleport him away. We can't go through that, but we can do this. And so this is basically just teaching you that different levels have different warp points that you can get to. Uh, you just tell pair warp back to area one by pressing start. And that's where it showed you, right? So you can also kind of see your your progress there. What your percentage is. So we're going to go back to area one. And we're going to start rescuing people.
See, now we can go this way because before you had to have higher than 60% to get through the door. So you'll notice as I attack that guy, the little meter that came up there in the top right hand corner. It's now at three. looking for extra people, but we're at 100%, so it's really not going to matter for this one. We kind of just let this ride out. So I do like the speed element of this game. That there's you know, kind of a, I don't know, speed running feel to it. Maybe. A little bit of flow to it. And here we're going to learn about the, uh, the villain of the game. His name is Genos. And he runs away. Because you get the Berserk Orb. That will allow you to uh, use electrical power, which you can see equipped right now. Because your character K has merged with the orb, uh, he's experiencing some difficulty. So red health orbs restore your health. Uh, standing on checkpoints gives us back. The blue orbs we've been collecting gives you energy. But then there's also the yellow berserk orbs and your berserk meter, which uh, you can use as a special attack. And so now we really start kind of getting into the meat of the game. Why I didn't collect those. All right. And you will definitely run into things uh, in this level that you cannot do yet, that you have to come back to. Dash in enemies, tag and unleash havoc on your foes. Trail is blue. Press B to strike tagged enemies with lightning. If you've launched an enemy in the air, press A to super jump. So let's tag some. There you go. Kind of reminds me a little bit too, like with the bouncing elements with that, of like, of like Sparkster, uh, the you know, back in the day. Alright, up to 25% there. Not entirely sure what those are, but
What I don't like about this thing is that you don't like actually have an attack with B in the air. You have to dash. And I have 16 to get through there. Okay. Well, let's just see if we can find somebody. We'll come back. Teleporter 2. This will be one of those things I've returned to. You can't do anything here. Almost to 60%. Can't get over there. That almost felt like we were about to fight a boss, but no. Whoa! Okay. Missed the, missed the tube. <laughs> Uh, spikes don't kill you in this game like they do in Mega Man. <laughs> Going to this third checkpoint. Okay. And this will get us to the desired 60. So let's go back to two. Because if you remember, right over here, these are now open. Uh oh. I get Ooh, lots of stuff and 65 percent and we stand on the teleporter we get our energy back and go to three where we were. feels satisfying to do one of those combos like that. Uh, honestly. So we gotta go this way. Got 
There we go. Then we're on the other side. the last one. Okay. So boss time, possibly. Oh yeah, there is there's a boss here. Let's find out what you got. Dark energy levels high. Okay, let's see. Spider Okay, I see. How to do the let's find out what you got. The uh, special attack. Got him. Let's do it. And guys, that is the first level of Berserk Boy. It'll be out in early March on Nintendo Switch. You definitely should check this out again if you are a fan of Mega Man, especially Mega Man X. I think you can see a lot of elements there, uh, but there's, it's just, I think it's a wonderful package. I want to thank the devs for sending us over a copy so we can check it out for ourselves. Keep it locked right here at Nintendo Dads for lots more news, reviews, previews, a podcast live on YouTube and Twitch every Thursday and in your audio device every Friday for Berserk Boy, the rest of the dads, this has been Marty. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.